Hi, this is April with Holistic Horseworks, and we're glad that you're watching this today on a whole new way to look at your horses. Most training and behavioral issues start because the horse's body is out of alignment. This can start from a past fall or other injury as early as just six months of age. You've seen foals run and play and stumble and fall. So then they are in pain when we ask them to do repetitive movements especially under a straight, firm, treed saddle. I know you've seen this when you put the saddle on the horse's back and you go to girth them up. They're swishing their tail and pinning their ears. So we are here to show you how easy it can be to help the horse come back to balance and ease of movement, how to keep your horse healthy, sound, and rideable through their 30s. Our global network of instructors are available to teach you how to find and fix the cause of the body issues affecting your horses. See our clinic schedule page for one near you. Ever thought, what is really going on with my horse? Why is he acting this way? If only he could just tell me. What would your horse say to you? My back hurts. That saddle is pinching me. It is uncomfortable to canter to the right. My head hurts. I don't want to be bridled or caught today. The bit pinches my tongue. I don't want the bit in my mouth. I cannot chew my food because of a sharp tooth and so many other things. Why would a good natured horse act up under saddle or buck? Because they're in pain. Pain and fear is what gives us reactions that are labeled behavioral and training issues. You wonder why your saddle doesn't fit? Does it tilt to one side? Does it make your horse sore? It's because your horse's shape is not symmetrical. We invite you to go out and look at your horse from the rear, maybe five feet back at a safe distance, a little bit higher on a mounting block or bucket if you need. What do you notice? One side hip is going to be higher. One side back is going to be lower. One shoulder is going to be bigger. And if you look at the withers, you'll see that there's a slight curve to them. So how could a saddle possibly fit that back? Through our research and work with thousands of horses in the past two decades, we have found that most body issues are caused by first rib misalignment. This is seen in most of our horses today. This can start as early as just three months of age. This will create high-low hoof syndrome, which throws the rest of the body out of balance. The right shoulder on this skeleton, which is on the left side of our picture, has a side with the first rib misalignment. It's not a big thing. It just doesn't give you the gap for the shoulder to come through freely. This will make right lead canter difficult for this horse. So people think it's a weakness or that the horse just doesn't want to do it. And then we think we have to make them do it more to strengthen that side. Well, this creates all the compensations. Left front will load more weight to help bring the right shoulder through, straining left side tendon and suspensory. Also, this will result in crushing and compressing that side heel. And the horse will throw more stress to the diagonal, which would be the left hind hock and hoof. So this is where your, all your mysterious lamenesses start. Posture versus confirmation. What is your horse presenting? The horse on the left before a session is presenting posture. Posture is developed from muscles and spasm, pulling bones and ligaments. This creates the saddle fitting issues that owners spend more than $5,000 on sometimes. On the right, confirmation. Now that his body has had a one hour equine musculoskeletal unwinding session he's going to be much easier for this horse to work under saddle and he can perform his work with joy and ease. We teach you how to do all this in our level one hands-on workshop. Foals. This is where it all starts. This three-month-old colt on the left was already displaying problematic or difficult to handle foal attitudes. We were told to take the riding crop when we wanted to lead him. Really? Whipping a three-month-old horse? He already had first rib misalignment under his left shoulder, as well as pull back cranial trauma with atlas and axis out of alignment. The way the left side shoulder was loading the hoof, he was jamming the inside bar forward and crushing that inside heel. 
This was starting to be the high hoof of the high low hoof syndrome. His body now in balance, he was retrimmed right after his body work session to allow for correct hoof and body growth. This bay yearling on the right had both first ribs misaligned, making it difficult to move both shoulders. He was developing what we call a U neck and roach back because of this, which is where the area behind the saddle is tighter. This is posture, not his true conformation. Also, both front hooves were growing turned out with inside crushed heels. His psoas being over tight was pulling his groin tight, presenting cow hock conformation. This is not his true conformation. If you look at your horse from the rear, please be at least five to 10 feet back, squat down, what do you notice? You'll see hooves out of balance, one side higher, one side lower. This is not just a farrier problem. You can have a bad trim, but how the horse stands on the hoof 24 hours a day is how the hoof is gonna grow. And some of these imbalances are starting at just six months of age. We release all this tight fascia and deep muscles causing this in our level two course, Cranial Sacral and Unwinding and Advanced Applied Kinesiology. Now this is a cadaver hoof. So we're looking at the inside. You'll see the coffin bone. Um, you'll see the calcifications that look porous like a coral reef. And where they're growing, the hoof wall expands. So you can feel around the hairline of your horse and you'll feel these little hard areas. You can also see how it's gonna affect the coffin bone. So if the hoof is not round at the top where the hairline is, there's no way that it can be round and balanced at the bottom. So we need to start addressing this. This is started because the horse's body is not loading the hoof correctly. We've seen it in horses as young as four years of age. Now we're gonna talk about the horse's heads from the pullback trauma. All they need is one pullback when tied, a three month old foal being haltered for the first time. A horse normally will struggle if they can't get away and then lean heavier on one side. So you'll notice the picture on the left the eyes don't look symmetrical and they're looking in different angles. So this would be a horse that would be spooking mainly on the left because that lacrimal bone has dropped. He was also labeled a head shaker. He would be dropping and rubbing his head on his foreleg when being worked or ridden and then rubbing chemical fly sprays that are on his forelegs or on his face already into a stressed eye. This will also give you more equine dental needing to be done as the horse cannot chew properly to take care of and grind down his own teeth. So why is your horse heavier or more resistant on one rein? So take a tape measure out from the middle of the pole down to each lip line and measure each side. You'll find one side is a half inch to an inch longer. That the longer side is the side your horse is going to be heavier on the rein. So the trainer asking to give to the bit, give to the bit is really just destabilizing the TMJ joint. So in our level three equine cranial decompression, we actually manually pull some of these bones back up, resetting them to where they should be. And we've noted health issues get better, um, chewing better, less needs for dental floating. The horses only have so many years on their teeth. We need to stop having to float them so often. Please also use an equine dentist who has all the schooling on the horse's mouth and teeth. Horse head issues, spooking and uveitis. Why does it start? We have found that after your horses have pulled back when tied at a young age, other issues develop as they get older. So in our level three cranial class, we work on all this. The eye on the left is looking puffy with swelling and the inside corner is pink, not white and healthy looking. This five-year-old horse was diagnosed with uveitis and was scheduled to have the eye removed. This eye was always weeping and puffy while the other one was not. Steroids had already been used to try and take down the inflammation. One hour later, 
actually shifting and moving the lacrimal bone back to where it should be so the oxygen and blood flow can get to the eye. The swelling goes down and the eye isn't weepy anymore. The next vet exam, the owner was really happy because they were told they no longer needed to spend $5,000 to remove the eye. So give your horses a winning edge by learning how to work on them yourselves in our three-day classes. Your horse will perform better, last longer, and be much happier doing it. We are always looking for barns wanting to host a three-day class for five to seven students. So please contact us about an instructor near you or hosting a clinic. Thank you so much for watching this.